Hello, everybody. I don't really have a name <laughs> that I would use for YouTube, so I might used to use the one that you can call me Pugdy. That's what I norm normally use at League of Legends or other games I play, so I'll just call me that. But um, so what I'm doing today is this is my first EU4 video. I've seen quite a few different tutorials on different countries, different strategies, and uh, a lot of people are really smart at this game, but um, there was one that I haven't seen before, and it's a Brandenburg strategy to kind of maximize your early game resources, um, ensure that you get all of the Teutonic Order within the first 20-25 years, as well as obviously Pomerania, and potentially um, vassalize the Livonian order. That's not a necessity, but it's just really nice to, within the first 25 years or so, annex all of Pomerania, vassalize the Teutonic order, and then build up your country enough so you can have the Livonian order and the Teutonic order as a vassal, and uh, probably turn this one into a march. Uh, that's just the best games I've had as Brandenburger when I do this particular strategy because I don't have to take any loans early on. It's um, I know a lot of people don't care about loans, but I just I just love to have no debt. <laughs> so I know it's a game, but it's just a weird feeling. So um, I've kind of done all the busy work already as far as get my monarch points. Um, I gave Uckermark to the burgers, um, took some extra money from them, and I sent a royal marriage request to Poland and an alliance offer to Saxony because right now Bohemia is a rival of Saxony and also Poland is rivaled with them, although that may not last long. So um, I've rivaled Bohemia right at the start because that, I believe it maximizes your, there's like a rival bonus as far as your um, reputation with other countries. So. And after five days, I'm going to ally Austria, because I always ally Austria as a member of the Holy Roman Empire. But there's a weird thing with this game recorder, too, where I can't pause it unless I just click up here. So I'm going to keep the game a little lower. Um, but here we go. Ooh, that's irritating. Um, I also can't press Enter to just kind of accept this thing. Eh, but that's okay. So, oh my god, you got a lot of alliances real fast. Oof, if that didn't work, I'd have to restart. So, now with all that stuff going on, yeah, I should be able to form an alliance with Poland in the middle of December. And you, Bohemia's already that, so I'm going to start building a spy network there. The strategy is pretty simple. Basically, I would want to get a core here, or take this from Bohemia, and then when I start the war, I would have... Poland and Saxony join. Saxony give them m minimal land. They're just here to be a fort, a uh, fort tank for me. And then Poland would call in their vassal in Lithuania, and we would just rickroll Bohemia unless they you know, formed an alliance with Austria. Then we'd have to restart, obviously. But the goal is you get at least 20 favors with Poland. If you don't get 20 favors with them, you can still make it work because you can use those 10 favors to help you conquer Pomerania. And the goal is to take out... I'll just have this play while this is going on and pause what I need to do. The goal is to take out Pomerania quick and then basically conquer um, two provinces of the Teutonic Order right as 1450 rolls around. Because you want to have this vassalized, Pomerania vassalized, have Niederlassitz vassalized, or uh, annexed, and then have either the favors from Poland or promise them land, and I'd give, just give them Kolm. And then you take Danzig and Tuchel. And then nobody's really going to attack the Teutonic Order for the next 10, 15 years. Your uh, peace timer is synced. And then by that time, you should have... Uh, you can either start another war with Bohemia later on, or, or you should have the favors necessary to just take out the Teutonic Order, claim Marienburg as the war goal, because as long as you get that, you can vassalize the whole thing. 
And once you vassalize the Teutonic Order, the only other thing I would say to have the perfect start to the game is um, after you vassalize them, try to vassalize the Livonian Order. Um, early on, I go innovative. That's not the best starting one a lot of people would like, but I like it because obviously the advisor cost reduction, um, the technology cost reduction, um, extra advisors, and the the side bonuses for this idea group are, are excellent for what I'm going to get anyway. Like with quality, obviously you get the infantry combat ability, and with influence, because I plan to expand through the HRE with vassals, so influence will be important, but when you combine that with innovative, you get an aggressive expansion impact, which combined with... Uh, Brandenburg or Prussian ideas. Yeah, so that's minus, you'll get minus 20. And um, once this thing right here goes away in the next age, I should have influence, and by that time I'll have a permanent minus 20 to aggressive expansion impact, which is very helpful for quicker expanding throughout the game. As far as what I do after that, well, I mean, I'll probably top out in the next video, but all right, so. Just keep going with this, and eventually when Poland is ready, we've got them. Excellent. So now it's just a waiting game. I would have this go faster. I'm sorry for the wait. I might bump it up one, but I, uh, there we go. That's nice. Saxony is a really good one to start with because you get that prestige boost. You get the diplomatic reputation. Um and uh, improvement to, uh, oh, actually I don't think you get that, you get, you just get, you get diplomats and improve relations, that's very helpful early on too. So we're just basically waiting for Poland or uh, for Bohemia to get that claim. I might bump this up one. Uh, there we go, that's perfect. Perfect timing. Excellent. That's good. Now I don't have to build a spy, a spy network there while I'm waiting. And they don't have any crazy allies. That's good. There's nobody I can get a humiliate right there yet. So one of the things I like is if Bohemia only has like one or two, you know, allies. I can make it Nuremberg. And sometimes they will get uh, usually like Nuremberg, Memmingen, Augsburg, Salzburg, like really tiny, weak people. Sometimes you get the Palatinate. Sometimes. They'll take Lundberg. If they get any one of these as their ally, though, that's great to humiliate, or um, you just have one of them as a rival, too, and then when you go to war, you just humiliate one of them, knock off one of your age uh, accomplishments, and then, you know, that's just gravy on top of the money you get from them. So, um, but that didn't happen this time, but you don't have to... Don't have to restart every time to make it perfect. Sometimes if um, Onhalt doesn't have an ally, I didn't check this time because it's rare, and I was filming the video, but if they don't have an ally in the first, like in December, I will take my stack, wipe them, do a show of strength, and get a lot of uh, Monarch my points early, and this just gets me ahead, but can't have everything we want all the time, so... Usually around October, November, if you start uh, building a spy network here, uh, you'll, you should be able to have a 20 for fabricate claim. Um, yeah, we should get that by September. October, yeah, so that's about the earliest you can get it if they're your, if they're your rival. I'll probably... Well, I guess we got to pray because I don't want to get that in... It's a, sh it's a shitty, it's a shitty air anyway. Beautiful. So, now we're going to fabricate on you. Beautiful. Okay, so the goal is to take this, and I'm probably going to give these five to Poland, because I want them to have max favors. Uh, did you get your, you have not gotten, that is not good. Normally they have this a little bit earlier. Well, we can try this out, and if it doesn't work, um, I might have to make a new one, but um, 
if they run out of manpower, they won't be able to join your war to quickly take out Pomerania. They just won't have enough positives, like the favors won't be enough. So they're basically even with Bohemia because they've got their vassal and Bohemia is their vassal and Bohemia's land is just much better. But without Lithuania, uh, this fight is just a lot harder. Um, not that their allies are super powerful, but if Poland just loses, um, if Poland loses their too much manpower in this war, then it won't matter. We won't be able to go to war with Pomerania. Then we won't be able to go to war with Teutonic Order. It just, you got to go quick, quick, quick. Like ideally a two year war with Bohemia and a two year war with, um, Pomerania, and then you got a few months before you go to war with Teutonic Order and just take those two provinces, but I guess we'll see how it goes. Oh, I don't have it yet. So, there we go. Oh, I hate not being able to pause with my spacebar. Okay, so, I'm going to take both of you in, and if you wait till, like, the middle of a month, um... Like right now this fort is mothballed and Bohemia can run over there really quick and uh, just slaughter it and then that just gives you a big disadvantage early on so I'd wait till like halfway through the month to um, allow for your allies forts to kind of come into come into play if you don't uh, then you could lose potentially two forts in the first month and then you might as well restart so but they only got two allies so let's see how that goes I'm just going to sit there to get the war score, and we'll see how that goes. I would go much faster, but normally I can't. Uh, normally I just pause with my space bar for important you know, things to focus on when little events pop up, but I, I can't do that when I'm recording a game for some reason. This is my first time I've ever used the record button or the the game recorder, so maybe there's a trick that I don't know about. So yeah, Poland's Poland and Saxony together with their with their uh with their armies are just slaughtering Bohemia's armies and Oh that's nice, I want that. So this is gonna go a little bit slower and it's a really boring video, you could tell me, because this is my first one and I need to get better, so. Bring on the internet rage. And, alright. We're not going to have time to siege down Ferrara, but I guess we won't have to, because they are getting, they're getting attacked by Milan, too, so that's good. The main goal is at least by 1447, end of 1447, 1448, you want to be able to have taken out, like, I'm just going to piece these guys out and get some money. And we don't care about Ferrara as long as you get the main, the main forts down in Bohemia. You need all these, Rabator, and uh, I probably should have moved my guy here earlier, but... I'm actually pretty bad at everything. <sighs> okay. So, I do war operations, max money, and transfer trade, because that gives me a little bit of prestige, and I, I like prestige. So, boom. Excellent. Once this fort is down, um, we'll be able to give those five to... Be able to give, yeah, we'll do that. We able to give those five provinces to Poland and God, oh, the good, they they got Lithuania. That's good. Once uh, we'll give them those five, take out Pomerania really quickly, and then wait until the right at the beginning of 1450 to declare war on the Teutonic Order, unless. Teutonic Order may be at war with Denmark, which would be great, but uh, they may not be. We'll just have to we'll have to play it by ear. Oh, this is good. 
So this is much better. You don't need to have a maxed out war score against these guys. Um, you want your little property, you want to give one to Saxony, and then as long as you can... There. Yeah, it's only a war score of 86, but um, I like to be able to get a little bit extra money, but we may not be able to get a full score of 100. Yeah, that's fine, though. So this is going to give us 17 favors. We're going to use that to take out Pomerania, and then we're probably going to promise uh, land to take out the Teutonic Order. But... Uh, Now we just have to see if their war score. Oh man. That's not good. So every month we wait is bad. Um, because you can actually lose your alliance with them because they just took a lot of the Holy Roman Empire and. And that, that goes down here, and if that gets too high, if that gets too high, then we are in trouble. They basically break our alliance because we don't like them, even though we, we do like them. All right, so Mecklenburg and Pomerania. This is perfect, so we're going to do Mecklenburg and Pomerania. This is going to give us a lot of... It's going to give us a lot of... Power projecting. Okay. So basically, we just got to sit on this and hope to God that either the Teutonic Order gets into a war. Oh, perfect. Hope that they get into a war just in case we can't kill these guys too fast. So we'll use Stolp just to get that going fast. All right. Boom. I'm just going to sit up here and wait for Mecklenburg to move their butts. I don't want to waste my manpower because that's what I have Poland for. I'll just sit up here, get some money. Now this is good because I've got two full years to take down Pomerania. Now, the last hurdle of this, and this is going to be the unfortunate thing, sometimes the Teutonic Order just allies Livonian Order and nobody else. Sometimes they ally, you know, Mecklenburg. I've seen them even ally or guarantee Pomerania. Um, but uh, the fact that they're allied with Hungary is very bad. Poland is a beast. They are, they've got a huge amount of land, but... Uh, yeah, we will we'll get more mercantilism. Poland's a beast, but they cannot... F we're not strong enough to take out the Livonian Order, the Teutonic Order and Hungary at once. I mean, like, it's close, but I'd have to... I need to save my manpower, because I'm going to have to go down and siege. Speaking of that, I've got to build up my army a little bit, get that max army so I can get... so I can get this thing. I'm going to have to siege down Trenchin, or just... If Hungary takes some of the Polish land early on, I might just piece them out and give them Polish land because I'm going to have to kill Poland eventually. So um, Poland's a temporary ally. Oh, perfect. Okay, so this is going to weaken the Teutonic Order. It's going to weaken Livonian Order. I'm probably only going to need to wipe out the Teutonics and, and Hungary, which will be a lot easier. That is doable. There we go. Suggests and transfer trade power just for a little bit of prestige. Okay, this is going surprisingly well. Of course, you don't know how many videos I did that botched this, so. Pause you. So we are going to do humiliate war. Lots of money. And I think, can I get... Oh, that 
that's perfect. Yeah, so we do that with Teutonic Order, so that's one less ally the Teutonic Order is going to have. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll keep them allied with Verden because I'm going to want to conquer both of them eventually anyway, and it's good for them to be together. We'll do Pomerania. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Beautiful. I should stop saying beautiful. So now, we are going to vassalize you and remove claims in our country, which we definitely don't want you to have because we need to vassalize you soon. And I don't want to take money from you because most of it's going to go to Poland. I need you to be strong. So, yes, we're going to send that. So basically, in the first five years, we've completed the state here. We vassalized Pomerania. So we've got six months to just recover, train, do whatever we want to do, adjust our rivals. Um, there's Brunswick I like too. Nobody I care about. Okay. We'll do Brunswick, because fuck those guys. And Teutonic Order, because we're going to be attacking them anyway. Poland's got a... Okay. So, what we want to do, and I'm not even sure, it depends on how I want to play this. Like, I don't want the Livonian Order to lose any land, so I, I prefer to kind of wait a little bit for the war to kind of drag on so that Denmark gets tired and eventually might white piece them out because they're at war with... Oh, they're just at war with... Hmm... Oh, that's a little, that's a lot. Normally, normally there's a Scotland involved in there somewhere, but I don't care about military access. If I could pause the game, I'd actually, I've got OCD, I would just, I normally just click on all those and press enter really fast, because I just like being helpful, but, so... Livonian order is out. That's good. Hungary will be the... So it's just going to be them and Hungary. And we should rickroll over the Teutonic order real fast. All their armies are occupied. Awesome. Now here's another strategy that is potentially good. Um... I like, in this situation, I can wait. I could even wait like six months, even a year, while this war drags out and their resources get lower. It will make it easier to conquer them. The problem is, is if they're at war, Poland could just decide to attack them and take their stuff anyway, instead of waiting for the Danzig to pop up. And if that happens, I would be very sad, because this is a really good start to the game. I've got my 83 power projection. I've got my maxed... Rivals. I finished this state, got free land there, took out Pomerania. Like, this is a good start. You know, after I take land from them, I'll just rest a while, probably try to annex these two guys, and um, then eventually just annex Pomerania and take out, uh, um, try to take out the Livonian Order. But, oof, they're ahead now. That's good. That means all their armies are going to be gone. You know what? I think it makes sense. So I don't have I don't have enough I don't have enough favors with Poland, but that's okay. I can give them a little bit of land, like I'll probably give them comb. And I'm still gonna take much more than them and they're gonna do a lot more work, so they're gonna be cranky with me, but they're not gonna break the alliance unless I took three. I'll just have to see. Usually if it's if their trust goes down by more than nine, like if it's ten or above, then they, they get pissy. Well that was fast. No, it wasn't fast, that was low. That was low. Did I forget to I did forget to do it. 
damn it. Normally, because I go innovative first, I like to bump this up, but I forgot to do that because I'm a numbskull. All right. I can't wait to like watch this video and see how terrible it is. <laughs> My first video. So, I, I like to claim Danzig and then take this myself. That way, I'm guaranteed to get both. Because if I if I offer Poland land and they take this, then they may just uh, um, I won't be able to get it back from them. So um, I just like getting those two first. The little fort right there um, protects against. I mean, I could get Konigsberg, but eh, this was just a lot more aggressive expansion than this one is. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to take Danzig, and then I'll siege that down. Boom. All right, let's see how this goes. Good, so Denmark's got their stuff down here. That means that Teutonic Order's armies aren't even near here. Yeah, I need my, I need my administrative power. So, all right. I would make this go fast, but I only have one army and I've been wiped before. Hungary filled some big armies early on. Luckily, it looks like they've got some... Oh, they've got rebels. Oh, damn it, Poland. Don't, don't kill their rebels for them. If we can take two, two uh, forts in... Uh, if we can take two forts in Hungary, we should be able to white piece them. And depending on how their armies go, good, good. If they'd have lost that, that'd been, that'd been unfortunate. Side with who for what? Neither lost it. We're going with clergy. That's what I like to do. I like to give these have, have the clergy have those. The new mark to me always feels like a a nobility kind of place. So I like to give that to the nobility and. I don't know, it just it just feels like a feels like a place for the nobility. Oh, this is this is going so well. I gotta figure out how to upload stuff to YouTube after this. Lucky me. Beautiful. Okay. So this is basically best case scenario. Um, and it actually happens a surprisingly large amount of the time. Like, so Teutonic Orders, once we take these two forts, they're going to be so toast. Um, I don't know if I should... Should I call an ally or do I want to save an ally? I could call Saxony. No, I think I want to save them because I'm going to want to go to war with somebody. Yeah, I'll probably go to war with Anhalt. And I just use them to give a buffer for Brunswick. Yeah. So, so this is going surprisingly well. This doesn't happen super often. My only mistake might be is if I if I try to sit here and Hungary brings a big army and I'm not paying attention, um, they could potentially um, stack white me, which wouldn't be the end of the world. I should still be able to take at least one the the main goal of this is to a get a uh, a peace timer uh, with Teutonic Order synced up with Poland because they're the only ones that are going to be trying to kill them, and to take at least these two or those two. If you if you get lucky with prestige early and you've got uh, you've got the aggressive expansion going down. It's not a. Uh, it's not out of the ballpark to take those three. The only reason why I wouldn't is because um, it would make Poland angry, and we need to keep them because I'm going to need to use them to take out the Livonian Order. And then once I get, once I've got Teutonic Order vassalized down the road and Livonian Order vassalized. Um, I'll probably transfer to have like Bavaria as a vassal. I'll get influence and diplomatic just so I can start getting allies and personal unions throughout here. But 
Um, I'm basically would like alternate between attacking Poland, taking stuff out here, and then probably attacking Denmark. But for right now, see, I would love it if I could get. This is going so well. I don't. I have. I'm. I'm. I feel blessed. I don't know if any people are Christians, but if you are, you know what that means. You probably know what it means, even if you aren't Christian. But um, this will be awesome if I can get money from Hungary. We're talking like uh, war reparations. That would be fantastic. I forgot to lower my autonomy there, or raise it so that that wouldn't happen, but... Oh, yeah, the minute I take... I might, I might raise it just really quick. Okay, that's what I need. So, I can get some major money from there. We're doing war reparations, and we're... Oh, yes, oh. That is a, that's, Poland's of course getting most of it, but, mm. all right. <sighs> now what do I want to do? Do I want to fuck over Hungary? Do I want to screw them over? End the rivalry with, yeah, we'll do that because I don't want them to be, Teutonic just does not get good allies, so I, if I can do that, I can Gives me a little bit of. Do I want to get rid of Austria? I don't know if I do. Maybe just. Nah, that's probably about as much as I'm going to be able to do, but that's giving me good money. It gives me war reparations. That's good. Awesome. And now, what I can even do is just sit on this until I do want to give... <sighs> the good thing about getting... I, didn't, I need to give both of these to Pomerania. If I don't, they're going to ask for it, basically, and it's going to screw up my relationship with them, and then I can't va like uh, annex them earlier, and I... The, the war timer is going to be screwed up. If I can't vas... or if I can't annex them soon enough, then I'm going to basically end up in a war with Teutonic Order. I'm going to have two vassals that are much stronger than they should be, and I'm not going to be able to annex either of them. That's going to basically put the game on hold, so I need to give both those to Pomerania. But if there's a way for that I could keep... So I'm going to give you to Poland, just to keep them happy. But i got to give you to Pomerania... Yeah, and see, then my if I if I did take this, it will. That's yeah. That's just. I could wait for a year and take it, but it probably makes more sense. Well. Probably makes more sense just to be a little bit smaller right now. Because I can take a bunch of gold. I'll get some gold. Poland is nine. Alright, that's bad, but it's it could be much worse. Oh. Military access, military access. And rev with Novo Guard. Mm. Such a boring video. <laughs> Do I want that? I really want that. I feel like I should wait, though. And here's the thing, too. The longer I wait, the longer that I wait, um, the longer time I'm going to have... The longer time I'm going to have to um, uh, absorb Pomerania. So maybe it is worth it to take that. We'll just have to see. So 
we'll just see what now oh, but see if I take that then then yeah I can't do that Poland's gonna be Poland's gonna be pissy and I need them for the next war so Magdeburg So, no aggressive expansion. That means I'll be able to expand over here a little bit. That'll be good. And, uh, beautiful. So, we're going to send that. I think we're good. Oh, cool. <sighs> the reason I like to vassal expand in the Holy Roman Empire as well is because I like to take administrative, or um, I like to take innovative because that saves me monarch power across the board. It gives me some of my best. It gives me some of my best. Um, like I'm gonna get quality because I like the Prussian Space Marines. I'm gonna get influence. That's gonna give me. That's gonna give me um, aggressive expansion, deduction or reduction advisor cost goes down, innovative is going to give me advisor cost, goes down, and then later on, um, people talk about how you save monarch points. Well, one of the way you save monarch points is not really saving, but you get more. If you if you get your advisor cost down like 50%, you can have, you know, level 4, level 5 advisors mid-game, which is more like across the board. And you're going to get prestige for free, you're going to get stability for free, and... Um, and then innovative is, uh, it's not necessarily good on its own, it's, it's just it's kind of good for the passive benefits beyond its own idea tree. Like advisor cost minus 25, and then you've got um, advisor cost with influence ideas, that's minus 10, and if I get diplomatic ideas, that's minus 10, that's minus 45, and uh, I believe there's another advisor cost reduction somewhere. I don't know whether it's... I don't know where it is right now. We don't have to worry about it. But um, anyway, like that minus 45%, because I, I mean, diplomatic and influence are the best. Um, I get influence first because... But if I do that, then I don't really need administrative because I'm not going to be coring a lot myself. I might... I'd prefer to vassalize Onhalt, have them absorb Magdeburg, and then, like, you know annex them. I would rather like Lubeck conquer Mecklenburg and then I would vassalize them than I would you know. That also saves me um, it not only saves me monarch points in terms of uh, administration so I can just like bump up and tech up really fast and get ideas quicker um, it saves me aggressive expansion so I can just go much much faster so um, yeah I think um I think that's going to be it for this video. Jesus, that's 40 minutes. I did so little. Um, 10 years in game, 40 minutes out here. Oh, I'm going to watch this right after, see see what it looks like. But, um, but yeah. So that's the plan. And um, Okay, this will make them easier to get. So if there's a peace timer on them right now, they've got till 65. If I can annex Pomerania within the next five years, I can form a claim on Livornian Order, vassalize them, and then Teutonic Order will be weak enough, and I'll be strong enough, I'll be able to vassalize both of those, and I've got the whole Baltic coast. That's, that's the goal, but we'll see how it goes, and we'll see you guys next time.